So turning a DS into a cardboard DS is actually a pretty straightforward process. I've done this a few times now, and it really is surprisingly simple to the point where I've actually narrowed it down into like a pretty basic math equation. Essentially, you calculate the full size and area of the DS or any console that you're gonna change into cardboard, and you essentially just replace all of it with cardboard. Now some of you guys might think that these little squares here are sensors for the VR function of the DS. But once again, hidden screws that Nintendo put there. In fact, the DS doesn't even have any VR function. So I don't know, I don't know what kind of moron you are. You know, DS is an acronym for don't suck and you've, you've sure failed at that already. So these end up being the only components we actually need for this project. The nose, the eyes, the microphone, and the DS. And the battery if you're feeling like you want it to be portable, so. I'm kind of staring blankly at things and I think I have low blood sugar. So the next step is to go and get lunch. And if you weren't doing this before lunch, uh, it's probably a good thing I mentioned this because you would have been doomed to fail. Also make sure that your Glock is heating up in the meantime. Oh, oh and change the oil on that thing. Ew. Do you make a messy wessy? You kind of ugly wuggly with a, your nosy wosy. Uh, go get lunch. <laughs> All right, I had pretty good lunch myself. We now begin the actual process of making a cardboard DS. Taking that thing apart, that was just filler. It was just intro. I only did it because the marketing team said I had to. Now we want to make sure that this battery pack is installed very snugly. Don't worry, this is an entirely reversible process in case I reach a day where I'm not entertained by random video game consoles being made out of cardboard. Hey, turd, can you pipe down? Huh? This is turd. I named him after poop. And you guys. Sorry, that was mean. It's not actually his name. No, you can't know what it actually is. That's personal, private life stuff. There was some really complex math involved with measuring this out, making sure this is the same size as this. I'll just let you guys kind of figure that out yourself if you do it. A little bit of figuring stuff out by yourself can't hurt. Well, Pete can't guide you forever. I'm old now. Might be a couple stinky poopers here who uh, don't like that I'm cutting on this leather table, but have you seen it? Its lack of visual purity makes it worthless. D-pad, French for the pad. <laughs> now keep in mind, these buttons are gonna be covered by bigger buttons. You're not gonna see how bad this looks. And if I finish this and you can see how bad it looks, I'm gonna Photoshop it in editing so you can't. You gotta look really closely at what I'm doing here. Because I'm not able to explain this part with words, you just have to visually understand it, so. Just gonna wanna do that. It's really precise, make sure that you're looking closely. Rewind the video if you need. Now I did not remember to make a slot here for the Game Boy Advance cartridge because I have a Game Boy Advance SP. I don't need to make a slot for the cartridge because I can just play on that if I want to. You don't have that, so maybe you should do that when you do this project yourself. But then again, this isn't a tutorial, so go swallow some fingers or something. I don't know what you're doing here. If you're a little lost, this will all make sense to me, so you can just let me have it make sense. You don't gotta worry about things, man. these slots for the triggers and then worry about what you're actually going to do about them at a later time. And my overconfidence can't be my downfall because if this doesn't work out I can just not upload the video and you guys will never know if it didn't work out. You guys have no idea how many videos I do that I just end up scrapping because they don't work out. I do five videos a day. Fully edited, fully ready. I just won't put them together. I just won't put them up if they don't work. So think about the things you miss out on before you want to rat on me for failing at a project. Eat a couple short once in a while. Humble yourself. Starting to get a big ol' head lately, and I'm not a fan of that. Not a bad fitment here, I'm telling you. And you also don't want to glue this black thing. That's the food that the console runs off of, and if you eat it, his food supply will be poisoned. I try to get the second screen in place as well before we get too far into this. Right in there. Perfect, what a camera view you got on this too. It's really neat when you can see 
everything kind of go together in real time. The magic of, of movie making, honestly. Now, a lot of the intricacies that you're not getting to see exactly how I'm doing everything, keep in mind that there will come a day when my YouTube career ends and I'm unable to be funny or entertaining at all, as it just happens with age. And at that point, I'll be selling all the things I make, and then you can probably buy them on auction at eBay for some outrageous cash-grabby price so I can feed my family, and then you can open it up and, and check how it works. So just be patient, I, it'll happen. Get this in place now. Gotta make this look clean. My client is one finicky son of a gun. Me. I'm sick of me and my shenanigans. That's some clean fitment, I gotta say. Now, for me anyway, anytime a project is going this well, I know for absolute certainty that it's not from my own skill, it's just complete luck. It tends to be in my favor a little more often than I'd be comfortable with. So I'm gonna take the rest of the day off and continue this tomorrow when my luck is most likely recharged, because you only get X amount per day. Hot glue gun also needs to cool down, so we're gonna take him for a little, little swimmy, give him the rest of the day off too. Actually, I think that would kill you if it was plugged in. We might need to do a Mythbusters parody video. I, I would have to actually die for it. It would have to be one of the latter videos I do for sure. Okay, bye. All right, day two. My whatever reason it was that I stopped working yesterday, I worked out, I don't remember what it was. If someone told me that I lied too much for jokes and that I need to cut down on it, I don't think I would disagree. Maybe I'll even make that into a segment at some point, that Peter doesn't lie for a, for a little bit of segment. <sighs> ah, just kidding. That was another lie. How clever of me, and how stupid of you not to catch on. Some of you guys might be pointing out that I didn't change my shirt since yesterday. You don't even know how much of a fool you are right now. Your cuts suck, Peter. This is a different shirt. This one's made of cardboard. The last one was made out of shirt. I feel like I'm getting scammed. I'm just adding this on here for safety purposes, but it could just be some goofy security thing that, that is there for literally no reason. I'm just shaky because I get really nervous around cardboard DS's. Just the edge off. That's what my dad used to say all the time. We never did know what it meant. No, oh, I cut the screen ribbon. Oh, uh, make, in editing, make it look like I cut the screen ribbon, please. Thank you. Also, pro tip for anyone making videos out there, if you whisper into the camera, only your future editing self will be able to hear what you say. So you can leave little secret messages, sometimes I do that. Put this last side on here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was, a, that was a really funny sound. Uh, I might have to leave it in the video for extended comedy purposes. I think we've really reached peak comedy on this channel. Oh, if my dad could see me now. He's fine, he's just blind. Not perfectly centered, but I don't really perfectly care. Okay, not bad. All right, the last component of any cardboard DS is whichever one you end up doing last. Because again, you can just kind of do this however you want. You're just covering stuff in cardboard. For me, it's gonna be the hinges though. We're gonna do it just like Nintendo. Just a couple of toothpicks. Just get two of these, round them off for aesthetic purposes. I'm, I'm impressed by me too, don't get me wrong. But hey, that's high school. I think that's, I think that's a sky high quote. Looking at a picture of a DS so I don't get the positions wrong even though I've already set them. The stylus all done, do everything literally perfect and it just might straight up not work. Just kidding. Of course it works, who do you think I am? Oh, it does. Of course it does. Technology. Damn. So it's basically perfect, and unlike the SP, this one actually shuts completely, and is kinda sturdy looking. 
I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with myself. And I'm only ever impressed with myself when I make like a really good cardboard video game console. So I mean, that says something. Enter name. <laughs> My name, you say. I'd say after this, cool man fits pretty well. Well, anyway, the only game that I have to test it out, and I'm not even kidding, this is the only one I can find in my house, is Kids Learning Math Spelling Bundle. I don't know if that the disc tray actually works yet, but... Huh? Okay. Don't get too excited, you naysayers, because I don't think that this game works, actually. I think it was one of those tragic tales that it just never worked as a kid sold. I can maybe scrounge up one more. I, I'm gonna go grab a different one. Yeah, I lied. I probably have other games. I just really wanted to play this. It's cutesy and learning. Just like my channel. Okay. Style savvy, literally the next best thing. If this doesn't work, I will pass away on the spot. Picto chat, yay, hooray. Look who just entered. Oh shoot, and it's his birthday too? That's wild. Why am I surprised everything works? Why? Okay, everything. I don't know that the disc cartridge doesn't work. My brain doesn't, because a disc cartridge isn't a thing. It's early. I would not be surprised if style, if style Savvy also doesn't work, and that games do in general work. Yeah, <laughs> Because the thing is, I'm pretty sure the reason I don't have any DS games here is because my family has borrowed all the ones that do work, so the only reason I would have games here is if they don't work, more than likely. Oh, I do have Pokemon typing adventure, don't I? <sighs> Rip back. Come on, buddy. Oh, actually, wait, I, <laughs> I thought that was some BS excuses. I thought I was just being a fraud. My logic was actually sound. I don't have a wireless keyboard, because I just really don't give a flying flamingo flatulence right now. Just throw some gameplay footage on the screen. I don't care. It functions correctly. What do you think? Watching me play a cardboard DS is going to be completely different than watching me play a regular DS? What, you guys just want to watch me play video games? You think I'm doing too many crafts lately? You just want to see me sit here and do gameplay that you can very easily do yourself? You're stupid. You're seven. You're seven years old and you're stupid. I'm sorry, that was kind of mean. I'll play a video game for you in the next video. Okay, promise. All right, bye. Hey, don't listen to that guy. He he didn't know what was lined up next. It's, I think it's going to be a shopping video or something. So, it might, might be a, might be a funny Pikachu toy.